What's up guys? So today we're gonna be doing our first ever Culico exhaust vlog. So we're just gonna be building parts and assembling exhaust pipes and fixtures. Um, I'm not gonna show you anything specific about the process. I'm just gonna document each part and uh, we're gonna have some fun today. So you may be asking, what are these exhaust pipes for if you don't follow me on any other platforms? So these are motorcycle racing exhaust pipes for flat track racing. So long story short, I grew up in the flat track industry. We do a lot of different fabrication stuff on this channel, uh, but I have a lot of experience in the exhaust um, sector specifically. We're gonna be working on today are actually four identical pipes. And what they are is three of them are FC 450 exhaust, Husqvarna 450s, and one of them is a KTM 450 exhaust. All the same product, uh, KTM owns Husqvarna, comprised of mostly 18 gauge and 20 gauge stainless steel. So let's dive in. So we're gonna start off by uh, welding up some of these muffler inlet components. So this is just a purge canister. The only part I'm working on here is this inlet on this side. Um, so I'm gonna be welding these up. As you can see, I'm purging uh, the part. So welder settings, I'm running about 35 amps. This is 18 gauge stainless steel. Uh, I'll do like 30 dips at a time. And then I'm running like five CFH of argon through the inside as far as the purge goes. Little shot of Starbucks. Uh, 035 super missile welding rod. All right, let's move on to the next one here. Same deal, same part, muffler inlet, uh, or canister inlet rather. And uh, we're gonna purge it, weld it, and move on to the next process. All right, so next we're gonna be doing a couple things here. As you can see, these canister inlets slide into the four inch titanium canister material like this. And then the megaphones will go into the inlets like this, okay? So what we have to do is we're gonna cut our canisters to length here. That's gonna be the next thing. Um, all of uh, all four titanium canisters will get cut and then these inlets will get trimmed back just a little bit 
because I like them a certain length and a certain fitment for these megaphones to slide into them. So that's what we're gonna do next. Cut our canisters, trim back our inlets so we can start finishing the muffler product. Now that all of our inlets are cut and sanded, um, we're just going to scotch bright the surfaces here and get ready for welding. So these inlets will slide over uh, the megaphone cones there and will get fastened to the canister. Always make sure, I mean this isn't rocket science, but make sure you prep your weld seams and you know the better your materials prep the better that weld is going to lay in there and look and it'll be stronger cleaner everything those start off as sheet metal in other videos um, I show you how to roll the cones um, you can see that from a few weeks ago how I roll all these um, and then they get cut in two spots to get that bend in it it's a lot of work, but they perform well. I think it looks good. It's, it's a good design. Now we're gonna wanna acetone this. These are ready to go. The canister inlets are slid over the megaphones. We're gonna weld this seam. Okay, so now that we finished welding the inlets to the megaphones, we're gonna grab our exhaust fixture and start cutting header material. Let's get started on the uh, header program here. So as you can see, there's four identical bends here. These are 45 degree bends. Um, that's the first um, bend in the header system for this exhaust. And something I've always done, this seems pretty rudimentary, but I've always, I always have a folder for each exhaust fixture and they have very, you know, simple templates cut out so I can say, okay, the first bend is this one. How do I need it cut? So I'll take my template, I'll lay it over the bend and I'll draw lines here just so I, I, 
I know where to cut it. And usually I'll leave myself a little bit, but I know that from these templates, I'll be super close. Uh, that way you're not guessing every time, you know, drawing lines and holding the exhaust up to the fixture. Like I say, this is very rudimentary, but uh, it works pretty good. So we're gonna draw our lines and we're gonna cut uh, the, the first series of bends here and get started. So the reason you see multiple lines on these tubes is because they're indications of where we're going to expand up to with the expander. You have to be very, very careful with this first piece. You gotta know your expander really well because the first header is a slip fit onto the KTM stock flange. And this uh, machined component on the fixture is an exact OD replica of the flange of the KTM uh, Husqvarna gas gas. So you gotta be very careful with this first piece so it slides on just right and you don't want it too loose. And then this will get trimmed back so I can get it right where I want it to be. And then this first piece will fall into the jig. All right, so now that tube one of the header system is done, we're gonna grab one and plug it into the fixture. And then get started on header piece number two. So here's tube one and two, and since we're stepping up a size, we need to expand tube one to fit. You can see we have tube number one and number two in the fixture now. We'll start working on tube number three that will swoop up to the megaphone and the canister area. So there's three header tubes on this particular product, and then you get into the megaphone. So we have header tube number three all marked out from our template, and now we're gonna cut our pieces. You can see all components are now inserted into the fixture. Um, we've got the three header pipes into the megaphone, into the canister uh, back here. Everything fits really nice in here. Um, it inserts into the, into the jig very well. As you can see, we start here off the flange, one step, another step, and then we roll into the megaphone. So this product is ready for welding. So that's gonna conclude the vlog for today. I'm not gonna finish the other three pipes or even finish weld in this video because there's other videos on the channel, uh, tons about welding. So I just wanted to go through the exhaust process and do a uh, vlog uh, building exhaust. So I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.